So one interesting thing that happened just some few days ago was I was able to make a fantastic logo animation inside of Canva because look, for every brand, one of the things you would need is a logo. And for every video, one of the things you need is a logo animation. So before we get into it, just take a look at what I did inside of Canva. And wait, 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 look, everything you're going to see was done in Canva. So. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think subscribing to the channel would be bombastic. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I truly appreciate you for your continued support. So, without any further ado, and look, one more thing, I have some interesting things to tell you at the end of this video. So, make sure you don't drop off at any point in time because this is actually going to be a very simple video. So, yes, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. I have some small video for you let's watch this video and i have some comments to comment this video let's watch all right so we can see this is what we are going to be working on and um look let me just create a new something in here so i'll come in to create a design and make sure you're searching for video okay so when you search for video you'll see so many dimensions in here make sure you are selecting the video dimension okay so once you do that canva should load things up quickly okay and uh for some time now i don't know i've just been feeling so creative and i just think it's nice and i'm just seeing all of this just to make sure canva loads things up so that i can switch all right so we see we have a very blank canvas a very beautiful blank canvas okay and um, i just feel so excited today because i know there is some pretty lady watching what bro what are you talking about man <laughs> Look, actually, don't worry. That's just by the way. I beg you. Don't think I have a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend yet. I find that in some color. Okay, so what we are going to do first is to add our text. Okay, so this can be your logo. I will just say Bugagi. Okay, so Bugaki. Okay, and um, that was just the title font. You know, the name of the font I use, which is this right. So I'll make it maybe bigger like this. And the next thing I'm going to put is the tagline. Okay, so for example, my tagline is no limit to creativity. So you would also need one. So I will just say everything loves you. Okay, then select all and change the font to any secondary font of your choice. So maybe you can go with Anonymous Pro for the sake of this tutorial, and I'll just you know reduce the you know font size to something like this. All right. So now, even though we'll be switching back to the white background, we will change the background to another color so that we can see anything we are going to be doing. Okay, you would understand what i mean very soon so what i mean is that let's just change the background color to black right now no not black sorry 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 maybe red okay so that we can also see our text then we'll you know press r on your keyboard for shape okay and we are going to keep the color white come to gradient okay the second color we are going to make it transparent something like this and you can see what we have at the moment right so if i drag it this is how it's going to look minus one so we will just you know trim it and place it somewhere here but the thing is it has to be on top of your text okay now let me put this here and duplicate it first and okay then i can place it here minus one so um i know i'm just you know playing with you right now but what i've done is i just duplicated it i put them together select or I use ctrl g to group or you can right click you should see a group over here okay then select it and duplicate okay then what we are going to do is come to position and choose i think negative 90. no 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 so if this is negative then i think maybe 180 should be good so 180 all right okay then i'll place this one over here like this okay in the center and this one also over here like this in the center so you can see what we have done make sure everything is centered nicely now this is the fun part of it what we are going to do now is to animate our gradient shapes okay so i want you to look please 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 pay attention to what i'm about to do okay because it's very necessary i don't want you saying that i followed the tutorial and i couldn't get it look you should get it okay so this is what we are simply going to do make sure you are clicking on any of them you know the first set okay so we'll rather select it like this click and drag to select one side of it then we are coming to go into you no know, then we'll go into animate in animate you should see create an animation then you see it's just saying that select and drag blah 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 
what we are simply going to do is to select it okay and drag it to the opposite side okay so something like that oh shoot so you can see what actually happened okay which is also still cool because at the end of the day the background is going to be white so you can see we are just moving from the thicker part to the lighter part which would kind of um create a fade in animation okay so that's what we are just trying to create but because we don't really have all the resources we are just trying to um use what we have right now to create what we want you understand now the next thing we are going to do is to select this one also okay oh let me just show you my screen so this one also all right come to create animation you also do the same so click and when you are dragging make sure you are clicking on your not clicking make sure you are pressing on control okay so you can see what we have at the moment all right then we we'll select our background and choose white for the background and this is what we have at the moment then we'll select our text okay then come to animate you can choose any of the animates okay so the wipe you can see the wipe comes in nicely with it or you can choose fade which is also cool okay or so you can see you can choose any font um so a text animation of your choice okay so you can do this for that and you can also choose let me just uh choose the you know, slide this through okay and select the main text okay then we can come also you know into we can also come into animation okay and choose now we want something that will just be at the center so you can see how it ended very beautiful so you can choose any one at all of your choice but i think i'll just go in for the fading so that everything can be fading in all right so this is what we have at the moment and the last thing we are going to do is to slap some audio to it and you can see i'm just about to listen to some audio so i have an interesting audio i uploaded in canva so i'll come into my uploads in upload i should go into audio and i have just six seconds audio clip over here you can hear it oh okay so i'm just going to play it again so that you can hear it okay so let me just click on this nice one so i just click and just drag it in here okay and this is what we have at the moment it should load so that we can play it okay so let's just allow canva to load things up and while canva is loading what i want to tell you is that just in case you're on the free version of canva okay you will need canva pro to be able to do certain things for example with the text animation if you want to customize it in terms of speed and certain things like that you need to have canva pro and aside that canva pro comes with so many things you can be able to upload your custom text you can have some more animations you can remove the background you can have multiple brackets you can actually do so much more with canva pro and even now you can remove the background of your of your video in canva pro so look i think that's the best thing you need to do and i want you to start for free so i have a link in the description box below that can help you use canva pro for free and also i have so many templates available and um, they are also for free check the link in the description box below to use my templates for free okay yeah so now let's play it and just see what we have yeah. very nice very nice okay and this shape or no not shape this text we actually have in there can take any logo at all okay so let's just take a look at it okay so if you are using an actual logo or let me just come into element okay i'm already in element and just search for logo okay so we just have to choose any logo at all with a different color and i can just reduce it and I just reduce the size and maybe position it to the center okay and send it to the back what i can do is i can just take out the text okay so this is what we still have so you can see so maybe i just have to drop my uh, text down a little bit and um, let's do some cleanup over here okay so I'll just, so I'll just select it and move it just up a little bit okay and just make sure we are seeing everything we are supposed to see so with this also i will move it up a little bit all right and that is it i think this is also very cool you get it so you can see this is something you can actually apply to any logo at all 
and just let me know what you think about this um, animation in the comment section below and if you love this video look i think hitting on the like button would be a very good way to show your love and your support to this channel as a whole and if you haven't still subscribed look subscribing i think you should just do it because i'm here to help you so and i don't want to lose you okay so yes the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video i know you could do it all you gotta do is put your mind to it wake up i'm on to the next new day i gotta do my best uh, every day i put the work in the grind never stop you ain't never see me rest see me on top i never